this video, I'll talk about how to make QR codes using Python. More specifically, I'll talk about how you can use a QR code to direct to a link, to create an email, and also to provide the location of something. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have Python installed. Second thing we'll need to do is to install Segnal. And so we'll go down to our search and pull up the command prompt and then type pip install Segnal. All right, now that we have everything installed, let's start to write the code that we need, which is pretty simple to create the QR codes. So I'll start by writing, uh, creating a file, and this file will be 01, and let's call it link, because what we're gonna do first is have our QR code refer to a link. What we'll need here is to first import the package that we have just installed, which is this segno package, and then we'll name a variable, let's call it strawman video. And the reason we're naming it strawman video is because I'm gonna have it linked to a video on the strawman fallacy. So then we'll write uh, segno.make, and this will be the sort of creation of the QR code. And then we wanna have, a, it takes a string, that will go to a link. So I want it to refer when an individual scans this code to this particular link. Next thing we wanna do is create the QR code itself, you know, save it on our computer. So I'll write my variable name here again, and then I'll put save. And then I will specify what the file name will be, and I will have it be strawman video and then we'll specify the scale, how large we want the image to be. I'll put the scale of seven. If you don't put anything, it will try to save it in the smallest size possible. So I'm gonna have it as seven. So now when we run this file, let's go ahead and do that. You should see that when we, it'll create this PNG file. Now when you scan your, or pull up your phone and put your camera over it, there should be a link that appears in your camera. I'll take a screenshot from my camera so you can take a look. In addition, your camera might have like Google Lens or some kind of QR code reader. If you use that also, the link will pop up. It might just look a little bit different. All right, that's great. So the next thing I wanna do is to create another file. So let's call this o2 slash email dot pn. So on this one, if you scan it with your phone, it will create an email. So what we'll do is put from Segno, and then we wanna import this helpers module. And what we'll write is, again, we'll name a variable, let's call it QR code. And we'll say it's helpers.makeemail. And so you can see a lot, of it, a lot about this email here, but we're going to fill in some of the parameters or arguments. So the most important ones are who the email is to, and so let's have it go to example at example.com, but obviously you would put the email address that you want the it to go to. Let's also fill in the subject line of this email. And so let's say it's a philosophy question. So, and then one more thing, we, you know, you could see a number of other things. You could see you have it CC or BCC, but we wanna fill in the body of this email. And so we'll have the email say, we're gonna make it an F string, Dear David, uh, we want a couple line breaks. So we'll have it two line breaks. How are you? I have a philosophy question. What is the meaning of life? And then let's have a couple more line breaks from, and then another line break, and then we'll say insert name. So the student would be prompted to kind of, let's say, fill in their name there, you know, replace this insert name with their, with their name. We just need to save the whole thing just like we did before. So let's put QR code, save, and we'll need a file name. Let's call this uh, student email. Actually, let's just call it email.ping. And then we want to specify the scale. Let's say the scale is seven. Okay, so now when we run this, we should see an email that pops up, an email PNG. Now, if you take your camera and scan this QR image, what it will do is sort of open up your email application and fill it out partially. It'll fill out the address to the body, the subject. Now, the last thing I want to kind of look at is 
to use QR codes to give a geolocation or so it said it pulls up a place on a map. And so what we'll do here is let's call this O3. So this is like our third example. And let's call it uh, etower.py because we're going to create a QR code that gives the geolocation of the Eiffel Tower. All right, so now that we have this, let's just make sure we have import Segno again. And then we want from Segno import helpers because we're going to use this helpers uh, module again. And then we'll say we have this QR code and we'll say equals Segno make. And then we'll call this Eiffel Tower. And then we'll write QR code equals helpers dot make. And here's the important part here. We'll use make geo. So uh, make geo. And then what you need to provide are the latitude, as we could see, and longitude of the location. So you can get this in a couple different ways. If it's a famous location, you can just type in what is the latitude and longitude of the Eiffel Tower. Another way you can do this is to look up the location. And then if you right click on it in Google Maps, it will give you the geolocation of the event. So you can, let's just say, copy that. One really quick note here is that when I went to copy the latitude and longitude of the Eiffel Tower, I did not actually copy the correct one. I Instead, I got the latitude and longitude of a location near the Eiffel Tower. And then we'll go into here and paste it right in. So now we have the latitude and longitude of the Eiffel Tower. And so then we'll save the whole thing. Let's use QR code dot save. And then we'll need to give it a name. So this again is a string. Let's call it E tower for Eiffel Tower and make it a PNG and give it a scale, which will this time we'll say is eight. So now let's run our code and then it should pull up a image of the QR code. And so when we scan it with our camera or our QR code reader, link will appear to a set of coordinates. And if you click on that link, it should pull up your map and you should see that it gives you the Eiffel Tower. So that's how you'd use Python to create some static QR codes that send you to a link, create an email, and provide geolocation. There are several other interesting things you can do with this Segno package in Python. For example, you can color your QR codes or put images in them. You can also use it to contain your contact information. Personally, I'm planning on using these QR codes in my syllabus to refer students to various university policies so I don't have to put the text in the syllabus. I'll put a link to an article I wrote about how to do this in the description below.